Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a review on the new Kylie Cosmetics Sailor Collection. So without me rambling on about other things, let's go ahead and jump right into the review. All right, hello, welcome back. Another Kylie review, right? Sailor Collection. The packaging, from what I'm seeing, is really pretty, and from the pictures I've seen online, it looks super pretty. But I have to say, I didn't really see, like, on, like, Kylie Cosmetics Instagram, them really playing with, like, the colors in the palette. So I'm gonna play with the colors in the palette. The navy, the reds, and the golds, I'm definitely gonna be playing with. But this is what it looks like. This is the PR box. I'm not sure if this is gonna be available for you guys to purchase like her Kendall Kylie was, but I hope that if it is available, for purchase it's not like insanely expensive like it was with the signature autographed collection last time which I thought was crazy and I forgot to mention that in my last review and I want to address that now if you don't know what I'm talking about the Kendall X Kylie Kylie Cosmetics came out with they did um, you could purchase the PR kit which I thought is super cool but then they they did a an autographed PR kit for twice the price as the PR kit because it had their signatures which I think was kind of they should have just included like a certain amount of orders just like sign the PR box as a surprise instead of charging double for the autograph. I did forget to mention that in my last review. I am still new at this. I'm trying to get better. So thank you guys for addressing that and like letting me know, hey, you didn't mention that because I do want to talk about that. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts on that. I'm not sure if you can purchase this PR box though. I, I didn't see them say that you could, so I'm guessing you can't. But I really wish brands would do that with every single collection. Like who doesn't want to have the opportunity to purchase the PR kit? Anyways, so this is what it looks like. I'm already gonna insert some close-ups for you guys if I'm not already doing that right now. This is what the inside of the PR box looks like. There are two new products that she hasn't had before. I'm pretty sure two of them are new. First thing being the lashes. This is the very first time they've had false lashes. So there's false lashes. There are these shadow sticks which I think are new. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below but I'm pretty sure these shadow sticks are new. There's an eyeshadow palette, a matte lip kit, and a high gloss. Sorry I'm filming. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. <laughs> okay, so the prices of this collection, I'm gonna read them off from Kylie Cosmetics Instagram. Matte Lip Kit, Kiss Me Sailor is $29. The High Gloss Private Island is $16. Lashes, $18. The Shadow Stick Duo, so there's two of them, $18. The Sailor Eyeshadow Palette is $44. And the Bundle Everything Together is $115. So if you did want all of the items and you purchased the bundle, you would be saving $10 because individually, all of them together are $125. And then if you buy the bundle, it's $115. So you are saving ten dollars there the lashes eighteen dollars seems pretty high to me but I don't know like what they're made of it just says Kylie Jenner lashes so it says the lashes are reusable vegan and synthetic so I'm not sure if they're worth the eighteen dollars um but I feel like after I wear them a few times I would know for sure um but I mean I haven't really I just took them out of the box to get close-up shots I haven't even like touched them or anything but I will obviously when I apply them to my eyes today that is a little pricey but I mean if they are good quality I guess it could be worth it the shadow stick duo there are two of those for eighteen dollars so depending on how they perform it could be very well worth it um but if it was just one for eighteen dollars I probably would not buy that that's too much but the fact that it's two I think it's pretty good but like I said I haven't tried them so I don't really know until I try them today with you guys okay so I've obviously done like the rest of my face um this collection just focuses on the eyes and the lips which I like I feel like some collections can be way too huge and it's like well what do I pick but I like that this is just focusing on the eyes and the lips I feel like it's not going to be overwhelming when you go to purchase I'm going to go ahead and start on the eyes obviously I'm going to zoom you guys in on real close up on my eyes let's go ahead and get started and see how this collection performs all right I went ahead and did one eye off camera I just prefer to do one eye off camera it's so much easier for me to do it off camera to get the look that I want I did like a navy smoky eye with like a red waterline and gold in the inner corner. My thoughts. It's kind of interesting. All right, I'm gonna prime my eyelid using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I am in the shade Medium Sand. Uh, it's what I would use normally as a primer, so I thought I would just go ahead and do it now, too, with this review. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit. And then I just took this Time Los Angeles brush and blended it into my lid. All right, now getting into the palette. Um, okay, <laughs> so I did notice a few things about this palette. It 
overall performs pretty good um but i do notice there's a lot of kickback in the shade blue ocean which is that navy blue shade there is a ton of kickback and you guys are going to see how it performs when i put it on my lid um kickback doesn't really bother me um, but I do know some of you that it really is a concern. So I did want to mention that before I jump into the actual look itself. All right, so the first shade I'm going to use as my transition shade is this shade right here called Tidal Wave, and I'm just taking it on this fluffy, big fluffy brush. And this is going to go in my crease as my first, well, pretty much my only transition shade. I didn't use any other transition shade. I was going to use brown, but I decided not to. And this concealer is creasing, not a problem at all. It's normal. So right before I go in with that transition shade, I'm going to get those creases out now look there is some kickback on this shade too right here tidal wave there is some kickback there and i'm dipping my brush in as i normally would i'm not like you know hitting the pan hard with my brush i'm just dipping it in like normal so there is some kickback with these shades so i am just going to take this pretty much in my upper crease kind of high up there is a good amount of pigmentation but i do like to tap off some before i go straight into my eye Sorry, my AC kicked on. I swear I have it like on 78. I'm like sweating in here <laughs> so that the audio is good for you guys. And of course it kicks on. Sorry guys. So as you can see, this is, I mean, it's pretty good. It's just a normal transition shade. Nothing like too special, but it does blend out nicely. Get this nice and buffed out. Moving on, I'm going to use the shade Blue Ocean right here. And this is a MAC... 217 brush and I mean as you can see I just barely tapped into that and there's some kickback let me see if I just yeah for sure it's not that big of a deal to me but I mean it is definitely there I'm gonna use a shadow shield under my eye for this but I do want to apply it just to save some of my face makeup I've already done normally I wouldn't even do my face makeup until after but I wanted to today and that's what I get <laughs> That's what I get for doing my face makeup first. This shade is so, so, so dark. So you just really want to take your time and build it extremely slow because it can go from 0 to 100 super fast if you're not slow with dark shades. All right, so what I'm going to do is take this a little below that first shade. That's about as high as I want to take it. I don't want any navy to go any higher if I can help it. I'm going to take a clean brush, it's pretty much the same brush, just a different brand, and I'm going to buff the edges with this clean brush with nothing on it. As you can see, it is taking some of that pigmentation away, but the good thing about this shadow is that it is buildable. If it wasn't buildable and it was just taking the pigmentation away with this brush, it wouldn't be a good eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this brush again and I'm going to start getting the shape I want down here. So it does blend really nicely, these two shades together, which I thought I was going to have to use a, a darker transition shade as well, but no, if you just take your time, they will melt together. Alright, so that's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to go back in again, but I want to get this on my lid. So I'm going to use this MAC 242 brush with that same navy, obviously, and put it on my lid. I'm going to start packing it. And as you can see, when you pack it, it's pretty pigmented. It's definitely there. So I'm just going to take this up to my crease. When you're packing it, it's amazing, but it has a lot of fallouts, a lot of fallout. So I definitely, definitely recommend doing your face makeup after if you're using this eyeshadow because, whoo, honey. But the one good thing is the pigmentation is definitely there. Look at that. Whew, that looks nice. I'm just going to buff these edges. I do see that it is coming off my lid, but this is buffing the eyeshadow away, so I'm not super surprised. We can always go ahead and go over that again. How pretty would it be to use this as like a navy smoky winged liner? Oh my god, that would be gorge. Oh, I'm in a Milo at home. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over this again, but it honestly was because I was buffing over that, but I'm just hoping that it stays. I'm hoping it doesn't like, I hope it doesn't just, you know, start getting patchy on the lid after a while. But I mean, this fallout is, whew, it's intense, honey. It is intense. 
So I'm gonna go in with this shade, got the blues right here. And I'm gonna use a different uh, MAC 242 brush. But first I'm gonna use my finger. That's what I used on this lid at first and it worked really nice. I like using shimmery shades with my fingers because I find that if they are good quality, like this one is, you don't need Fix Plus. Your finger will melt it into your lid. But to get up in the crease and get real precise, I am going to take this brush. And you honestly don't really need Fix Plus with this on top of a shadow. No, maybe on its own you would, but on top of this navy, it's looking really nice. The only thing that isn't looking nice is all this right here. Huh? All right. As you can see, this fallout is pretty pretty crazy, pretty intense. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to redo my all my concealer and all of that, but it does look nice. The shadows are very nice. Um, there was a little bit of patchiness with the navy, but I feel like that was because I was kind of rubbing it off with that other brush. Um, but I mean, overall, it is a good palette so far. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this super cute color right here. It's like a pink glitter. Uh, I don't know, I just thought it was really fun and different. And I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills 813 brush. That shade is called Captain Cutie. It's so pretty. I just thought it'd be really fun to do a glitter on my brow bone today. And it looks really nice with this eye look. Let me come back. <laughs> clean this up. That was intense, removing all of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, but here we are. We're here. But I'm going to finish the rest of the eyes now before we move on to the lips. So what I'm going to do now is I applied some navy uh, like glitter liner in my water lines from Urban Decay. And I'm going to finish off the lower lash line. And then I didn't, obviously didn't really get to use the shadow stick duos in this tutorial because I did the navy look. I wish they would have done like a navy, a navy and a gold instead of like a gold and like a rose gold shadow stick with this collection I feel like it would have been more fitting because like I feel like the main focus of this palette is the navy that's what I was drawn to I did use the shadow stick I did use it in my inner corner like on my hand it's nice it's nice on my hand I mean it just feels like a cream shadow it's not anything super special it shears down a lot um but I, I mean, I, I think it would be good as a base. If you have like gold eyeshadow, I think it'd be really good as a base. But I wouldn't wear it as a shadow alone unless you just want like a super subtle eye look. It would be good for that. I'm going to use this red called Total Catch right here on a pencil brush. Use this shade on my lower lash line first. I didn't find a lot of fallout with this shade. There was some. As you can see, it's very pigmented off the bat. But this, this shade is very pigmented and just easy to work with. Now I'm taking a little bit of that navy on this flat brush right here and I'm kind of just lining the waterline with it. Not doing too much. I just want to add a little bit of a, a hint of navy right there. I think it matches the liner really nice. Okay, so now the shadow stick, right? So I'm going to use a little bit on my inner corner. It really didn't do much. It kind of took the shadow off right here and I think it's because it's kind of set and dry. So I mean, as you can see, it's just a little bit of pigmentation, but I feel like if, if you like that look or if you were going to use this as a base under a gold, it would make it pop. I hope my mic is on. <laughs> okay. Now taking another pencil brush, I'm going to take this glitter. It's called Don't Be Salty and apply this to my inner corner and I think it looks so nice. This is good for like a 4th of July look too, I think, honestly. But I'm kind of just putting it there. Love this chunky gold. That looks so good. Lash glue is drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. Okay, the one thing that I am not loving about these lashes, guys, is they are so short. And I'm not talking about the length. I'm talking about the lash band. They are tiny. I mean, I usually have to trim a ton off of false lashes. I have pretty small eyes, and these are small on me. I'm definitely not loving that about these lashes. I really hope that they, you know, make them longer next time because they are so short, guys. Um, the lashes themselves, they're okay. They're not really my style. I like thicker lashes. I like bold lashes. I wouldn't really wear these, um, but they're not like horrible. It's just the length of the lash band is so, so small. So here's what they look like. They are nice, but they're not anything special in my opinion. They're just pretty thin lashes. They're long. They have length. So this is the completed eye look. All right, so that took a little longer than I thought it would, but that is okay. Moving on to lips, I'm gonna use the Kiss Me Sailor 
matte lip kit and then the high gloss private island is red and the lip kit is nude i would have preferred that they did a red lip kit i think it would have been so cool but they did do nude but i do want to try this high gloss over top of the the nude the lip kit all right so i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips i know that the lip liner is a little darker from what i saw on kylie cosmetics instagram is that they wanted this to be like an ombre sort of kit Now taking the lipstick, I'm just gonna apply kind of to the center and use my fingers. It is really pretty. I do really like it. Got that navy all down in my nail. That eyeshadow, oh, I got everywhere. All right, so this is the lip kit on its own by itself. Very pretty on its own, but I do wanna apply the high gloss on top. Oh, that's so nice. It gets like a sheer red. Yeah, I like that better. I definitely like that a lot better. So this is the liquid lipstick and the high gloss together. Okay guys, this is the completed look using the new Kylie Cosmetics Sailor Collection. What do you guys think? I like how the look turned out. There was a few, a few little issues that we had along the way, but it turned out really nice. Overall, I do really like this collection. I think that the eyeshadow palette is really fun. I think the whole theme of the collection is very fun too. I like the color choices. The couple things I don't like were obviously the fallout. That was that was pretty intense. Usually fallout doesn't bother me too much, but that was that was a lot. That was definitely an issue for sure. There was some kickback um, off a couple shades in the palette and the false lashes. The the length of the lash band is just so so short that I think if you have really big eyes or long eyelids these aren't gonna work for you so I really hope that they fix that and make their lash bands longer um the style was okay um I would prefer like a more intense style but if you do like natural false lashes these would be good for you the lip kit gorgeous I wish it was a red though I do like it I just would have paired more red with this look I love the high gloss on top of it as well it's just like a very nice sheer red that was super nice the shadow sticks I didn't really get to play with like you guys saw um but from feeling it and you know swatching out on the back of my hands and using it on my inner corner they were okay it was okay I feel like I would have to use it on my lid as a base or just go for a very natural look to really know if I like it or not but like I said if you do like that super natural look and you just want to put something on your eye lid like a really pretty wash of gold you know something super simple my opinion my opinion I don't think the lashes are worth $18 I just don't there's so many other lashes I'd rather wear than these but like I said this is her first lashes that she came out with so hopefully they make the lash band longer and different styles which I'm sure she will have in the future but yeah so that is it for this review I hope you guys enjoyed this review please let me know in the comments below your thoughts and everything about this collection I love you guys so so much don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out it helps me out so so much and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single week that I upload here on YouTube I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one bye